So, due to absolutely amazing levels of bad luck, I have been through four vehicles in the last month and a half, buying them with absolutely nothing wrong with them, having a additional mechanic give a second opinion, paying that mechanic, buying the vehicle, driving them home, getting them registered and on the road and insurance, and then an absolutely fatal, expensive, ridiculous problem occur. On this particular vehicle that I have now, I have a webcam, well, a dash cam, and I'd like to just do a small video on this dash cam because this is probably the absolute worst dash cam I have ever seen in my entire life. Welcome to the Yada uh, dash cam mirror. It has a camera and as you can see it's absolutely impossibly ridiculously messed up. It sees a little bit let's wait and see if that truck coming through nope no notice of the truck whatsoever did not see anything further out than the lens itself if I move my hand too far back it doesn't even see it it literally can't see anything further away than about three inches which as we both know makes a dash cam pointless this dash cam sells for about $25 and something and it's pointless with inflation going out the roof the president we have in office the wars going on overseas the wars going on between our neighbors our own selves the politics and the riots and looting and every other single thing that's going on the last thing you need to do is waste your money on a product that does not work and that's what this does it does not work now it does have settings and you could argue with these settings all day long and try to make sense of why it's not working but the capture mode is either it's a, either it's a photo or it's a photo several seconds later resolution I have it set to 10 which is supposed to be the best if we pull it down to the lowest maybe that'll make a difference let's see not really a difference it's still completely unaware that there's a house in front of the car and uh, it still does not see my hand three inches in front of my fucking camera my god so it, it does come on though I gotta give it props for that when I turn off the, the car it gives it like a three set, a three second timer delay, and then it finally cuts off. Which I mean is good. You want it to cut off if it's not going to do anything, right? For all we know, it could be a fire hazard as bad off as it works. I haven't even taken the plastic off. That's how new this is. It hasn't lasted three days. When I first bought it, I will give it that when I first bought it, the day that I got it, I put it in. It was like 11 o'clock at night. I had radiator problems. I was fixing them on the side of the road. And I got bored waiting for the epoxy to, to settle. So I installed this and it actually, it, it came on and it functioned. But now, nothing. So... We did the resolution. We can do the light exposure. I had it set to negative two. Let's set it to plus three, which should be counterintuitive. But, I mean, could it get any worse, really? Huh. That was weird. Mm. Nope. Same difference. Still green as crap for no reason. 
And there we go, okay. Let's try formatting everything. Maybe I've just really screwed some shit up. Okay, it went back. Nope, green. It's, it's, it's stock green, apparently, now. And that is the slowest lag. My hand's not even in front of it anymore. And, eh, and stuck that way. Never seen a dash cam this bad. Anyway, this is the Yada dash cam. It has the swiveling camera in the front. It attaches to your regular mirror. And the only actual bonus to this is that it is bigger than your mirror. If you look down here, it has all this extra space here and it makes it longer so that you have a, a wider view. Um, the downside is though you can see a little wider you also don't have your your little flipper down here so that when some dude in the uh in the rear has his high beams on that you can just snap this forward and turn it to night mode and all um because that's actually how mirrors work and this one doesn't have that so now you have to either deal with the fact that you do not have night mode nor deal with a working cam where you can take this off and use your regular size perfectly fine night mode having rear view mirror um i normally i give a a, a product about a year before I'll, I'll you know review the tool but this is a tool that does not work and I honestly, I'm not even going to bother trying to get it refunded because Walmart has, <laughs> well, today's actually Christmas Day. I've had this about a week. I've, I've only had it functioning for about four hours and then it stopped. But because it's Christmas Day, anytime after Christmas Day, from here several months into the future, it is going to be hell on earth to try to get anything returned. Well, all of those unhappy people with their selfish Christmas gifts, they just don't like. Um, so instead, I figured I'd just go ahead and make the video and let y'all know. This is the Yada. Um, it's like a 751. I, I don't actually have the menu with me at the moment. I don't think they make but one, and that's this. And it's, it's just terrible. If you see a dash cam, that advertises as a mirror. Chances are it's this one. And it's ridiculous. It doesn't play back footage. It doesn't record footage. It doesn't take photos. Nothing. The dash does not see things. And apparently now it's not even cutting off. Because I have the key off. And it's supposed to go off. Apparently that's just another failure it's going to run till the battery dies apparently or maybe if i take the key out of the ignition okay it does that appropriately it cuts off appropriately then uh, well that's just a short little little complaint i will put some photos of the actual product on here with this and a slideshow behind it but thank you and have a great day.